Joe Orton. So I went to the ordinary sort of school that all children go to until they're 11, Marriott Road. Uh, that was quite near my parents. And then I didn't get the 11 plus because um, I was rather dim at school, actually. Well, I wasn't actually dim, but I didn't sort of get the 11 plus anyway. What did you do after you left school? Well, after I left school, I had various jobs. Um, I got the sack for most of them, mainly because I wasn't really interested in the jobs. Um, I was much more interested in going to drama um, things at night, and I belonged to amateur drama societies. And then I won... I went to RADA. Uh, this was paid for by the Leicester Education Committee, or else I couldn't have afforded to have gone. Um, now, you went to London. I believe you got into a bit of trouble in London. You went to prison. Did your pres time in prison have any bearing on the writings afterwards? Well, I think so, indirectly. I mean, I haven't written about prison yet, and I don't think I'm the only playwright who went to prison. Ben Johnson went to prison, and I think various playwrights have been to prison, but people seem to be much more fascinated by me in prison. I don't know why. <laughs> and you came out and wrote Entertaining Mr. Sloan soon afterwards, did you? Yes, it was about a year afterwards I had Sloan put on. I came out of prison in 62, and I had Sloan put on early in 64. And what after that? You've had, what, Loot? Well, yes, Loot was on in 66, and that won the Evening Standard Drama Award as the best player of 1966. And then I've written a, a double bill called Crimes of Passion, which the Royal Court put on, and now I've written a third play, which hasn't yet been put on, but we're sort of negotiating it. We've sent it to Lord Chamberlain, and we're waiting to see what he says. Now, on loot, I believe you've done very well out of that one. Yes, I, I did. Uh, it's run for almost a year, and I've been getting the money every week, which is very nice. Mm. What total have you got? Well, you've sold the film rights to, I believe. Well, I, I sold the film rights for £100,000, which is quite nice, but I shan't know how much I've got for a couple of years because my accountants tell me not to really spend anything much for a couple of years because of the tax people. <laughs> well, when you do get it, what do you hope to do with the money? Oh, well, salt it away, because I shan't always be young. And um, I don't want to do anything sort of grand with it, because I'm nothing I particularly want to do. But I would like to sort of push it away so that when I'm not writing anymore, which may be in a short while if I get a lot of money, um, then I shall be able to sort of go away and do something else, because I don't want to be a playwright all my life. Does that mean you're just writing for money at the present time? Oh, no, no, nothing like that, no. But, I mean, I... I couldn't write for money anyway, but I would have, I only have so much inspiration. I think any playwright does. And it's like a boxer, a really good playwright's career is very short. A boxer's career is usually 10 years, and then they start to get punchy, which I think playwrights do as well. Um, Shakespeare's career was pretty short when you really look at it. It didn't span all that long, probably 15 years. Um, and he wrote some pretty rum plays at the beginning of his life as well. I hope I've never written anything as bad as some of the early Shakespeare's.